Freezing temperatures are sweeping across the northern half of the country. Wind chill advisories in effect for much of New England, New York, and northern Pennsylvania. International Falls, Minnesota hit a record of 37 below yesterday. CBS News correspondent DeMarco Morgan is in Erie, Pennsylvania, where even more snow is piling up on the five feet that has fallen since Christmas Eve. For thousands of people pummeled with snow in Erie, Pennsylvania, there's no rest for the weary. No sleep, work 36 hours straight. Plow drivers yes, like Dave Wander are struggling to make roads passable. This is probably uh, the 10th time we plow this place, and they're just, you keep plowing, it's, it's nonstop. But where the plows are failing, <laughs> children and neighbors have stepped in. Go. When this car got stuck at a snowbank, strangers pulled over to help get it back on the road. They looked like they needed some help, so we thought, why not? Sisters Azare, Melizia, and Madison McCall are trying to make the best of it. We haven't had a winter like this since no. we were little kids, and it just feels good to be playing out here again. In New York, a state of emergency is in effect for Oswego County after they were blasted with more than five feet of snow. I've not seen this. I've lived here my whole life. We've really gotten hit this year. Firefighters in Lorraine used bulldozers and shovels to rescue a woman who was trapped in her home by a six-foot snow wall. It's freezing. We're <laughs> Much of the United States is also getting blasted with bone chilling cold. A bridge became partially stuck in Green Bay, Wisconsin, because of the frigid temperatures. And this is the Grand Haven River in Michigan. In Minnesota, temperatures dropped to 40 below zero in some parts, and Minnehaha Falls turned into an ice cave. It feels like your skin is going to be on fire. It hurts after you're out there for a little while. The good news is the airport is now back open and that means we're headed in the right direction and making progress. But it's far from over because we could get anywhere from 5 to 10 inches of snow over the next couple of days. DeMarco Morgan, CBS News, Erie, Pennsylvania.